if you want to extract business value out of ai you need to do retrieval augmented generation if you want your retrieval augmented generation to be successful you need to pay close attention to the data which is stored in your enterprise that is where rag with llama index comes into play let's have a quick look at what rag is before we look into the actual topic of this video which is auto retrieval that is an advanced technique when we say rag rag is a technique that combines a language models generation capabilities with external knowledge retrieval allowing it to access and use relevant information from a database to improve its responses auto retrieval is an advanced rag technique where the ai model itself figures out where information to search for in the database instead of relying directly on the user's query making searches more accurate efficient and grounded llama index is one such framework or toolkit that enables llms to access and use private or domain specific data llama index also has a managed parsing ingestion and retrieval service if you don't want to take care of this whole rag pipeline by yourself for instance when we say rag what it means is that you have your own data in your own documents you would have to first pre process them then you would have to split them into smaller chunks those chunks will be converted into numerical representations or vectors then those vectors are get stored in the vector store or database now whenever a user makes a query to the llm in context of your own data first that query is converted into numerical representation a similarity search is run through the index in the vector store on the data which you already stored and then the prompt is augmented with those results and then that augmented prompt is given to llm and that is how llm generates a grounded response in your data all of this requires careful planning and orchestration that is where these tool uh, like llama index llama cloud come very handy in this video we are going to have a look at a new rag technique called as auto retrieval which i just mentioned to you in simple words that allows the ai model to itself figure out information to search for in that vector store <laughs> instead of relying users input which makes it more grounded more easy and reduces the burden on your own data pipeline for that uh, we would need two things first you would need to go to llama cloud which is cloud.llamaindex.ai and you would to sign up with your own google account github microsoft or your own email and you might get into queue as this is still in the beta or you might be be lucky to get the api key but once you have it it becomes so easy i will be using it in the notebook environment on this local system but you can use it anywhere you can even use it in google colab at free t4 gpu also you might need open ai's api key but we will discuss it later before i show you the installation and how exactly this works let me give a huge shout out to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of uh, gpus now let me take you to my terminal where i am running ubuntu 22.04 with nvidia gpu card rtx a6000 courtesy mast compute with 48 gb of vram you can run these commands in any notebook if you are using windows mac wherever okay so let me clear the screen let me create a virtual environment with coda i'm just calling it rag let's wait for it to get activated and now let's install some of the prerequisites i'm just going with torch transformers accelerate open ai let's wait for it if these prerequisites are installed let me clear the screen next up let's install llama index and llama core with pip let's wait for it you don't take too long and that is done let's clear the screen next up let me 
launch a Jupyter Notebook environment. And this is going to launch it in the browser so that it will be easier to play around with this rack stuff. Our notebook is launched now. Now first let's do create the data which we are going to do the rag upon. You can replace it with your own data if you like. I'm just going to go with a list of URLs and the papers here and you can uncomment it if you want to uh, give it more data but let's go with this one for now and I will drop the link to the notebook so don't worry about the commands. And now let's download these files which we have defined. And I'm simply going to use this wget command. We are just creating a new data directory with this ICLR docs. And you can see that these documents have been now downloaded onto our local system. Next up, we would need to define uh, the index in the Llama cloud. And of course, here you would need to put in your Llama cloud API key. So I already have set it in the environment, which and it is just obtaining it from there. And before you run this command, we would need to go to Llama Cloud and create this index and then load those documents which we have downloaded into the Llama Cloud. And here you can see that I'm already logged into the Llama Cloud. First up, let's create a project. So simply click on create project, give it the name which we have specified in our command in the notebook. Let's click on create and it has created the project here. Now we can create the index here. Click on create index and here you can give the index name and make sure to, to give it the same index name which we have given it in the notebook. So we have defined our index name here. Next up, let's get the data source. For the data source, simply click on files here. And then you can upload the files from your local operating system. So let's click on this up arrow, go to the directory where you have uh, downloaded those files. I'm just going to get all of those three files and I have just configured it. Let's keep everything else as is. Now here for the embedding model, it's always a good idea to use OpenAI's embedding in this case. So let me put in my OpenAI key here. And then next up, just keep everything as is like par setting to accurate. And if you like, you can uh, do the any transformation on the data, but let's leave it for now. And for best results, just click on this manual here and segmentation configuration. You can see that there's a keep it as a page. And then if you just go here, you will see that it says Junking con configuration and 10, chunk size this, separator and all that stuff. So for chunking, you can go with any of these, but let's do the none. As of now, I think that should do it. And then click on deploy index. Okay, so I gave the key why it is asking for me again. Okay, let, in, let me put in my key again. So after putting in my key again, you can see that now it is uploading the files and then deploying the index it just takes few seconds it's fairly quick and that is already done and now let's go back to our notebook and we already have defined these here next up uh, let's define the document retrieval and also the chunk retriever the document level retriever returns documents at the level of entire files and the chunk level retriever returns specific chunks that is the whole difference here Retrievers are done and now it is time to set up our auto retrieval. So what we are going to do, we are going to create an auto retrieval function over these Llama cloud retrie retrievers. At a high level, this auto retrieval function is going to use a function calling LLM to infer the metadata filters for a user query. This leads to more precise and relevant retrieval results beyond just using a raw semantic query. So let's um, go, uh, try to define it first we are going to initialize our llm and we are just going to go with openas gpt 40 and of course you would need to set your api key in the environment first which you can obtain from platform.openai.com and it's the same key which we gave for that embedding model in the llama cloud our llm is initialized and now let me paste the code for this auto retrieval 
and don't get deterred by the length of the code it's actually very easy and this is the beauty of llama index that it makes things so easy because it provides you an abstraction layer so all in all what is happening here is that we are building auto retrieval from scratch so we are defining a custom prompt first as you can see here after importing all of these libraries and this system prompt is just telling the LLM that what it needs to do it needs to match um, the user query structure with the required schema and then we are defining the schema of course you can change it as per your own requirement if you like and then this is a JSON here and then we are um, telling it that given a user query first do a chunk level retrieval to dynamically retrieve the metadata of the retrieved chunks and then inject the metadata as few short examples which, which means few examples in the auto retrieval prompt here as you can see and the goal is to show the LLM what existing relevant examples of metadata values already look like so that the LLM can infer correct metadata filters okay so now let me run it and that has defined our auto retriever here next up let's import this function tool from um, uh, from this library and then what we are going to do we are going to run our auto retriever on some of the sample queries so here we have just defined our uh, document level and chunk level retriever next up maybe we will just get a give some text to this auto chunk rag function which we defined above and then we will get the response back for that let me first run this one and this is the one we are talking about we are just passing it some prompt it is going to do the auto retrieval on the basis of it and there you go so it has written us a perfectly valid chunk answer uh, with the help of auto retrieval similarly if you want to get a summary of any document you can again call something like that where we are asking it to uh, from the document level now instead of chunk that give me a summary of the whole paper so let me run it and there you go and look at the answer and the beauty of this is this so this was a user query user query string give me a summary of self rag paper and then it did the inference due to the auto retrieval that summary of self rag then there are some metadata filters that these are the ones which it needs to use and then in the on the basis of it it has done this retrieval and which looks perfectly well here so that is how um, auto retrieval is being done just to recap auto retrieval is an advanced track technique where the ai model itself is figuring out what information to search for in this vector store instead of relying directly on the user's query which makes it more grounded and sort of it offers uh, you to have the LLMS jet functionality to make sure that response is correct and grounded and to the point. So that's it guys. As I said, I will drop the link to it in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. If you're into advanced track, I think this is a good thing to look at. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.